I've already filmed actually all of the footage for this vlog and I really like it, so I hope you guys really like it too. Welcome to another vlog. Today, I have a little haul for you. Somehow, I'm on the Tula PR list. Don't know how, but I'm excited about it. You guys know I've been to like a lot of Tula parties. They have their parties in Dallas most of the time. Obviously, with COVID, there have been no influencer events, which is, I mean, an annoying thing to complain about. I mean, it's sad, but they sent over their holiday sets and I wanted to show you them because I don't get any kickback or anything because I don't have like a link like a lot of people do. But I was on their website and they had 15% off if you sign up for emails plus the holiday kits so you get a pretty good deal. I really like holiday kits because you get to try multiple products and it's usually like whatever for $124 value and it's like $60 or something because you're getting to try it and I think it's a really good way to try especially pricey skincare. So the first thing I got was the Tula Balance Berry and Bright Calendar and this is a 14 day gummy vitamin advent calendar which of all of these things I'm the most excited about this one because I'm a loser <laughs> but I'm so excited about this. This is what it looks like up close. Um, Obviously the packaging is very holographic so it's kind of hard to see. I will open it for you since I will be keeping this. I'm not gifting it to anyone. So you open it up and then there's a little pokey thing for each day. You just pop it out like you would an advent calendar. And you take your gummy vitamin. I love this idea. I think this is super cute. So that's the first holiday kit. And then they also sent over this is one of my favorite moisturizers. This is the 24 seven moisture and the holiday part of this, it's, it's a bigger size, but it's still discounted. So you get like a huge jar of it for a pretty like decent price. This is what it looks like. It's really, really big. It'll last you a very long time. It does have fragrance in it. If you're a person that's like fragrance free for skincare, but I love the bigger size. So if you love this already, and you want the bigger size of it, get it. And all of their skincare is probiotic skincare. So, yeah. I also got some scrunchies. I don't think these are for sale, but they're cute. I don't think they'll fit around all my braids, but they're just cute little shifting. They're not holographic, you know, simply not logical. Let's say these are like maybe a duo chrome kind of situation, but these are cute. They also have, oh my gosh, so the Glow Get It, the blue one, is one of my favorite under eye balms. So they have a set of three, and it's the Rose Glow Get It, the original Glow Get It, and the Glow Hour, which is a brightening under eye. It's $68, it's a $90 value, plus you can get that 15% off if you sign up for emails. It's annoying to get more emails, but you can always cancel. So that's what this one looks like. And you can try a few and see which kind you like, or you can break it up and make them stocking stuffers, like give one in each person's stocking. This, so useful. This is for spreading on face mask, like grabbing your face mask and spreading it out. I've been using an old makeup brush to do this. Like I have to wet it so that it stays flat, but this is very useful and I'm very excited to have it. And the big holiday kit that they sent me, they have three different versions of this. This one is the Glow To Go kit and First of all, these bags are so cute and they say the Embrace Your Skin. You guys know it's part of the Embrace Your Skin campaign on Instagram where I wear the cute little crop sweater and you know told stories about how I learned to embrace my skin. So um, that's what it says on it. And then it has the Cult Classic. Is that the real name? Yes, the Cult Classic. And it's their cleanser. This is a very good cleanser. I like this one a lot. Um, it has the cooling, brightening, hydrogel eye mask. So they just sent two of these. This comes in the glow to go kit. And it also has the clean and effective face filter, blurring, moisturizer, and primer. I got this last year gifted to me at their, it was a launch party for one of their new products and I really liked it. 
but TSA took it. So nice to have another one. And they also sent over, this is the Rose Glow Get It Cooling Under Eye, Eye Balm. So since I have two of these, I will be gifting one to someone, probably my sister. My sister gets like all of my other stuff. And very relevant, they sent over a face mask. <laughs> and I like it though, because it says, embrace your skin like the sweatshirt that I have and like the makeup bag. Mm -hmm. Right, that is my Tula haul and on to the rest of the vlog. I've already filmed actually all of the footage for this vlog and I really like it, so I hope you guys really like it too. The weather finally changed in Austin. Honestly, it was very temporary. It is back to being hot already. So I took full advantage and pulled out my crock pot. I decided to make a corn chowder. I just used seasonings of my choice, some jalapenos, some super sweet corn. This is a frozen corn. And instead of cream, I subbed in cottage cheese because it has more protein, but it still gets super creamy like cream would. Don't worry, it doesn't stay chunky. The chunks melt down into creamy goodness. So I had about 10 ounces of potatoes here, two jalapenos. I decided to seed one of the jalapenos and leave the other one seeded. Is that right? Was that opposite day? I don't know. And cut my potatoes into chunks, add them to the crock pot with one bag of frozen corn seasoning, to your own taste and I also used some vegetable bouillon and then added in my jalapenos which I sauteed. It gives it a nice charred flavor that way. I totally suggest sauteing your veggies first. And then I added two cups of water but that's because I use bouillon. If you're not using bouillon, just use broth. Half a cup of full fat cottage cheese. I put it on high and gave it a good mix and let it go for four hours. Then I came back and pulled out my handy dandy immersion blender. This really thickens up the soup. So I went ahead and pureed about half of the soup. I wanted some potato chunks and lots of corn to remain. So once it was blended, I let it chill out on high for about another 30 minutes to an hour. And this is what it looks like after. As you can see, all the cottage cheese is melted. I topped it with some sour cream and cheddar and it was so good. It would honestly be even better with some crab chunks in there. I was able to run down to Weedsville, my favorite grocery store in Austin, and get some eggs from Chertel Creek, some more cottage cheese since I used the rest of it in my corn chowder. I love good culture. And I got a new seasonal scent of Miss Myers, and it's orange clove. It smells so, so good. So if you see this, pick it up. I got the dish soap and the multi-purpose cleanser. I also picked up some of these Yum Earth candy corn. I am a candy corn hater, but for some reason, the Yum Earth ones are like everything to me. They're so freaking good. On this day, I really needed to do some cleaning. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't look above my head. So even though I clean my ceiling fan regularly, I didn't notice it was flinging dust on my walls. So I went ahead and cleaned my walls with this floor cleaner because it's the only thing that I could reach. And I took this opportunity to clean my vents as well. Because of Texas allergies, I do not want to accidentally think I have the C word. So I'm trying to keep allergens at bay. And then I went ahead and wiped down all of the blades on my my ceiling fan as well. I try to do this whenever I notice that it's getting dusty. So my wall was as clean as it could possibly be and this just turned into a deep cleaning day. You guys know I like to take up this rug every once in a while because I don't have a dining room table so I eat in the living room area. So crumbs and different things get on the floor. So I picked up the liner, shook it out, pulled out the Dyson. When is Dyson going to sponsor me? hopefully soon, and did a nice clean of my floor. These floors get so dirty so quickly. I've always hated carpeted floors, but now I understand how much easier having carpet was. But on the flip side, 
If this much is on my hard floors, I can only imagine what is stuck inside of carpet. So it's like a double-edged sword, but it is pretty therapeutic being able to clean. I just listened to some music for a while. I watched some YouTube for a while. I did this very intense stretch to get under the couch and then I turned into a human spider. I went down the hallway. I also vacuumed off the bathroom floors, cleaned off the dust bunnies in the hallway. This gets so dusty so quickly. Clean my bathrooms. Since I had a lot of dust on the floors, it just comes from living so close to the woods, I think. I put away my Dyson and I grabbed out the thing that I use to clean the walls. I don't know what it's called. Maybe it's just a mop, I don't know. But it has two sides to it. And I just sprayed some Miss Myers on the floor. I asked my maintenance people what to clean these floors with and they said any kind of like multi-purpose cleanser is really the best because they're not actual hardwood floors. A lot of the floor cleaners leave a film on top of them. So multi-purpose cleaner seems to work the best. Shout out to Eamon and Beck. Clearly I'm watching them on YouTube right now. They're living my van life dreams. And then I just take off my little pad and clean it. And then I opened up my windows. I love to open up the windows just to get some fresh air and this day to dry my floors. And I have to give another shout out to you guys because last time I picked up my rug, one of you said, roll up your rug and then when you put it back down the little non-stick thing won't get all you know messed up so i did it i rolled up my rug and rolled it out and it worked so freaking well i swear you guys are like cleaning gurus cooking gurus yes lots of lived life experience from you all so I fluffed my couch, did a little wipe down of my couch as well. I like to do that. And I wanted to show you guys that I actually moved my couch. It used to be probably a foot forward, but I ended up moving it back level with the wall in the hallway. It looks a little bit funny on camera, but it leaves me lots of room in the front of the living room so that I can record yoga videos. So I definitely like it. Look at me in the mirror saying hi, goofing off. I also went ahead and look at that dirty sock behind the door. Okay, anyhow, I wanted to show you guys my capsule wardrobe for the winter. I went ahead and picked one out now that the weather is mostly shifting. It's still getting up to like the mid 70s, but a lot of this stuff is flexible. So I have a few dresses, a few tops. I love this little tunic. It has a leopard tie. A lot of layering pieces since the Texas weather is so up and down. I have more dresses, a couple of crop tops that I like to wear under dresses, and then some jackets and some sweaters. All of it's very neutral and mauve toned, so it all mixes together really, really well. I can make tons of outfits out of this. I just felt like it was time to do another capsule because I am so sick of doing laundry. I love this sweater. I got a stain on it though, but when I'm wearing it, you can't really tell because it's like super baggy. And then I picked up this leopard sweater from A Beautiful Soul. I absolutely love it. It was on sale. And then I have two jackets. This one is from Loft, and then this one is from A Beautiful Soul. They're both the teddy bear style jackets. And I also ended up looking at these clothes in my chair i thought about folding them i did not fold them i can't even lie to you guys and i had a full hamper which i also have not folded still i'm just living out of it but once that's done i'm on to my capsule i moved my desk on this day back into my office don't worry those plants aren't staying there i'm just looking for a plant stand for the corner i just didn't want the windows to be blocked in this space anymore
I ended up making more cold brew, of course, so it was time to refill my jar. I was refilling it with the black coffee, no sugar, no cream, pumpkin spice seasonal one. Don't forget, I do have a discount code to them. I'm not affiliated or anything like that, but they were super nice and gave a discount code. If you would like to shop black owned for Christmas and the holidays, I think coffee's always a great gift. I like to transfer all of my coffee to mason jars and you guys are gonna be really surprised on my next video at my newest coffee purchase, but I'm gonna leave you on a cliffhanger. So spoiler, I went to my parents' house to get the coffee surprise and of course we got to see little Jinxy baby, little Jinx Eden, auntie's baby and my little belly baby belly likes to be in the front because she loves kisses like she thrives on kisses kisses are her love language look how she leans in for them so sweet that's all i have for you guys today this week was amazing i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching until next time remember to keep an open mind keep an open heart practice unconditional compassion but don't take shit from anyone i love y'all endlessly and i hope you love yourselves even more we'll talk really soon bye